when calculating magnification or actual size of cells or cell structures, there's a formula that you need to use. And I would recommend that you do memorize this formula. So that is magnification equals the size of the image. So that is the size that you measure with your ruler divided by the actual size of the specimen. So that's what I often describe as how small is it really. Additionally, for you to carry out this calculation successfully, you need to be familiar with the different units that we use in science for measuring length. Since it is likely that your ruler has centimeters and millimeters, but your specimen is going to be very small, it's likely to be measured in micrometers or nanometers, you also need to be able to convert between these units. So let's start with centimeters, assuming that your ruler is measuring in centimeters and you want to convert to millimeters. There are 10 millimeters in every centimeter, so whatever you measure as centimeters, multiply that by 10 and that will give you millimeters. Now, since there are 100 centimeters in a meter and 10 millimeters in every centimeter, there are 1000 millimeters in a meter. So a millimeter is sometimes represented in scientific notation as 10 to the power of minus three. That is one thousandth of a meter. Now, centimeters and millimeters may already be familiar to you, but micrometers and nanometers might be new. So there are a thousand micrometers in every millimeter. So if we want to find out how many micrometers there are from millimeters, you're going to multiply by 1000. In scientific notation, a micrometer is 10 to the power of minus six meters. From there, we continue to get even smaller. And that's because there are 1000 nanometers in every micrometer. So if you want to convert from micrometers to nanometers, you would again multiply by 1000. In scientific notation, one nanometer is 10 to the power of minus nine meters. Of course, we can also convert the other way in case you calculate your answer in nanometers, but the question says present your answer in micrometers. So from nanometers to micrometers, you would divide by a thousand, micrometers to millimeters, again divide by a thousand, and if per chance you wanted to go from millimeters to centimeters, you would divide by 10. So we can use these units when we calculate magnification of cells or of cell structures. It is possible that we might see a scale bar on the image, as you can see here on the bottom left hand side. Now on that scale bar, there is a number. In this case, it is 50 micrometers. That is very, very small. So what that is saying is the length of this scale bar represents 50 micrometers. In our formula, that would be the actual size of the specimen. So 50 micrometers would be the actual size of the specimen. And we would need to use our ruler to measure the length of the scale bar to find what the image size of that scale bar is so that we can calculate magnification. So I'm going to go ahead here and use my digital ruler. It does have centimeters and millimeters and I'll put it up against the scale bar here. And you want to take a moment, maybe pause the video to look at how many millimeters in length that scale bar is. Um, but spoiler alert, it's 51 millimeters. So the 51 millimeters is the image size, the 50 micrometers is the specimen size. And the first problem here is that we have two different units, so we need to convert them. And I like to convert everything into micrometers, but that's a personal preference. It's totally up to you. So if you convert the 51 millimeters into micrometers, we have to multiply by a thousand, that will be 51,000 micrometers. So now we can find the magnification, 51,000 divided by 50, that gives us a magnification of 1,020. So now we can use that magnification to calculate the actual length or width of a specimen, for example, this cell. In order to do that, we would need to find the size of the image. So again, we're going to use our ruler to measure between the two white lines along the white line in the middle to find out the size of the image in centimeters or millimeters. Spoiler alert, it is 26 millimeters. So we can put this into our formula along with the magnification we just calculated of 1020. In order to calculate the actual size of the specimen, we need to rearrange the equation. 
When we do so, this gives us how to calculate the actual size of the specimen. So now we have 26 millimeters divided by 1020. But instead of millimeters, like I said, um, I prefer to have everything in micrometers, personal preference, but it's likely that the size of your cells or specimens are ultimately going to be in micrometers or nanometers. So 26 millimeters multiplied by 1000 gives us 26,000 micrometers. We can divide that by the magnification of 1020 and we can have a final answer for the actual size of the specimen of 25.5 micrometers.